what's up guys and welcome back to another Call of Duty video guys today we are back on some more Black Ops 2 I wanted to bring this game back out thought it was really cool that they came out with that new weapon camo pack and today I'm actually rocking one of those camos this is the weaponized 115 camo this is based off the zombies map origins as you guys know I love zombies love origins so I thought this camo would be perfect for me plus it looks really cool that green sleek glass look is really awesome and you also get the panzer title if you purchase this so guys I hope you do enjoy the camo in this video I'm using the MSMC the MSMC is one of my favorite guns more times than not the MSMC gives me great results now guys in this gameplay here I'm actually going for a nuclear more times than not when I hop on black ops 2 now I'm going for nuclears the swarms are getting a little bit annoying they get monotonous and I don't know I'm just trying to get more nuclears because I feel like it takes a little bit more skill at the end of this video you will see a tip that I I honestly think it is one of the most important tips when you're trying to go for nuclears and this is being patient in this game you see a lot of the times right here at the beginning when I'm getting my streak started and kind of trying to cycle through I'm very cautious but when it gets toward the end of the round I get very I don't know like anxious I think is, is the word for it I get very anxious and you'll see that I just go out for a stupid kill and I die so I, I feel like that's a great tip for you guys today Please be patient when you're playing Call of Duty. I feel like we sometimes rush the gun. We try to jump the gun and get as many kills as we can. And there is a difference in camping and kind of being cautious and patient, especially when you have the VSAT in the air. You see when I call in or when I actually pick up the VSAT here, I'm actually going to be fairly aggressive, but I need to be aggressive in running toward their back. As you guys know, I do have a decently slow connection, so I want to make sure that I'm staying to the back of the enemies. I know a lot of you guys also have slow connections, maybe even slow slower than me so I personally try to stay in the back of the enemies especially when that VSAT is up now there are some cases where you can't do that that's why I use C4 a lot because I don't have to worry with the gunfight and I like to stay out of as many gunfights as I can with a slower connection so that's also a few tips you guys can take honestly if you guys have good connection you can win gunfights there's no problem but you would understand if you played on a slower connection like me and I know a lot of my subscribers also have that so that is a good tip for guys with slower connection use that C4 and stay to the back of the enemies you can really do that with this VSAT Black Ops 2 did a great job with the VSAT and I feel like it's something you can use in your complete advantage it can raise your KD so much just by using VSATs in the game so if you were gonna go for this I would if you were gonna go for nuclears I would say run the counter UAV the VSAT and the EMP I love that setup. You could also switch out the EMP for the UAV if you like that. But guys, here is the point in the game where I made a stupid mistake. You will see that the I, I got EMP'd and then the VSAT comes back up. Well, I wanted to rush and try to get a few more kills. I believe I was close to 20. Uh, and if I could have gotten it, I'm pretty sure I would have done it. But guys, right here, this is where you don't want to rush right at the last second. I get killed right here and I actually show the kill cam. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I hope you did enjoy this tip video. I should be back again tomorrow with some more ghost until next time though i will see you guys later